This is Hannah. Under six to play. Murray. They've got Stutz there. A little bit of a mismatch at times with Booker as Booker goes for the ball. And after all that physical play, they'll call that underneath. Or down on the block. Not in the 12-foot short post area. Hatch gets it. Fresh 35 now for Wichita State as they lead it by three. Here's Murray. He'll try the three. Short. Diller. Good box out underneath. So look, he's doing a very good job of being patient, getting back in the game. We talked about their inexperience has cost them some games. They're learning from that. Teague. Foul by Stutz. And let's see with 520. Gets a first. He's three of five from the floor, eight points, and he's hit a couple of free throws tonight. Hit them both. Yeah. Good job. The youngster growing. The whiteout sold out. SI in arena, the crowd into it. The Salukis down by one. Boy, Stutz wants it. Murray lost it, ball loose, gets it back. Up with it, stripped, gets it back again. Now he's wide open. Fair ball. Stutz, block. <laughs> Chance for the Salukis to take the lead. Under five to go. Got to find Dillard. There he is for the lead. Stutz, the rebound. They've got numbers, three on two the other way. Murray off his foot, but we're going to get a foul. They're going to get Tony Freeman for the foul. Here's Murray. Hannah. Through a couple of defenders. No. Stutz, yes. He has been as active as we've seen maybe since the Iowa game at the beginning of the season. I mean, he has just been a factor at both ends. And he's a kid that loves to to get some confidence and feed off himself. And when he plays well, Wichita is a different type of team. Here's Dillard. 15 on the shot clock. Dillard all the way in. Couldn't finish it. Well, you know, you'd want uh, that back. Yeah, that was wide open. Mm. Stutz, by the way, 6 of 12 from the floor. 12 points. Ram Hatch, the leading scorer with 13 in this game. Durley, beautiful play and a feed there by uh, Tere Murray. Just like that, the lead back to five. Get out of bounds. Stutz with the deflection, trying to go over. NCAA men's lacrosse action on the road to the national championship. Set play, they got the look they wanted. Triple screen on the out-of-bounds play, one of the favorites. Saluki's having a good look by Freeman. Now it's going to come down to the last three minutes and see where the patience and poise takes place. Hatch, no. And Booker's got it for the Salukis. Three minutes to play. If you want to go to a freshman like Teague, See if he can get it done inside or go to the free throw line. Made his last two. Here's Teague. They demo on him. Look at that move. <laughs> Was that quick? Lee is at two. An outstanding. Now the length leaves. So even Teague will have more opportunity inside against Durley. Teague with 12 points, the freshman for the Salukis. Goes to the free throw line, one of the best in the country. 76% as a team. Murray. Shot clock is down to 10. They get it in the hands of Hannah. Big play here. Hannah gives it up to Durley. Blocked. Murray with two on the clock. That's no good. Loose. Teague has got it. Ooh. For the tie. And a body foul. Bocott heads to the line. He's 71% on the year. Gets the first. 
and their last two losses have been by less than five points. Short, loose. Murray's got it for Wichita State. 53-52, under two minutes to go. When we talk about Wichita State, troubles on the road. They have to start making a statement to be a contender, not a pretender. Freeman all over Hatch. 15 on the shot clock. Hannah against Dillard. Hannah in, blocked by Booker, his second block tonight. Hannah inbounds to Murray, and they answer with an easy two. A little box screen, just curl cuts. And a timeout taken by Chris Lowry, who is hot over there on that sideline. They had Tony Freeman will inbound to Dillard. The post down screen, and Teague looking to set on the far side. He wants the ball. Booker will set the pick. This is Freeman. No. Bocott to Hatch, who is diving for it. Blair's got it. And Wichita State with the basketball. And he did not see Murray down court all by himself. But I can't blame him. He was worried about possession of the basketball. But Murray was all alone underneath the rim. Under a minute to play. 20 on the shot clock. Three-point lead for Wichita State. How about Graham Hatch keeping that ball alive on the floor. Great effort. Marshall said the hardest worker. Hannah. Blair back to Hannah. Four on the shot clock. In the lane to Blair. Booker altered the shot. There is a difference. Of no difference now. The shot clock is off, and so it'll be a timeout taken here. And so 25.7 seconds remaining. Here's Dillard driving all the way in. Yes! That cuts it to one, 19.3. Now, bring out your best foul. Even the Hannah will be interesting to see if they foul him. And Faye fouls Clevin Hannah. He missed it. Oh, they found it. Bocott's got it. Here's Dillard. And a timeout taken there by the Salukis. Teague is up high, but he's going to dive down and get around the rim area, I would expect. Dillard wants it and wants to go. Here's Dillard. Three seconds. Dillard, no good. Tipped. Loose. Hatch has it. Wichita State holds on. They survive on the road, 55-54. And Wichita State has not won here since dirt was invented. Yet an opportunity, it has been years, 11, since they've won here.